I'm Hannah, welcome back to my channel. It's a bit rainy today, so I thought we'd tell a story. Do you know the one about the three little pigs? Good, it's one of my favourites too. You can watch the story and then you can watch the make and do video where you can make your own three little pigs characters and also the big bad wolf too. So let's get started. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. The first one was called Daphne. The second one was called Ronald. And the third one was called Hamish. Now one day, their mother came to them one breakfast and said, you are all quite grown up now. I think it's time that you built your own houses and went your own way in life. So they finished their breakfast and they went off outside to gather some materials to build houses with. Now the three little pigs had never built a house before, so they weren't really sure what the best material would be. Daphne decided to build her house out of straw. There was lots outside that they used for the rabbits, so she thought it would be pretty easy. Ronald decided that he was going to build his house out of sticks. And Hamish thought very hard about building a house. He thought and he thought and he thought, and he thought some more, until he decided that he was going to build his house out of bricks, because bricks are very strong and they last for a long, long time. So they all went off and gathered their straw, their sticks and their bricks, and they started to build their houses. <laughs> take that long and Ronald finished his stick house quite soon afterwards but Hamish took a long time over his house he said he wanted it as strong and as sturdy as possible it would be well worth the extra hours put in finally all three houses were built and so all the little pigs went inside to make their very first dinner in their own houses but little did they know someone had been watching them the whole time. Can you guess who that might be? That's right. It was the Big Bad Wolf. The Big Bad Wolf had been watching all of this from behind a tree. He was going to eat three fat, juicy little pigs. Possibly with some broccoli, but he wasn't sure yet. Just as the three little pigs were cooking their tea, the big bad wolf crept up to the first house. This was Daphne's house, made of straw. And he said to her, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. And she wondered what it was. She put down her wooden spoon and came to the window and saw a wolf. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. I won't let you in. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. And he huffed. <gasps> and he puffed. <gasps> and he blew down the house of straw. So poor Daphne went running off to her brother Ronald's house to see if she could live with him instead. But the wolf didn't mind because the next house now had two little juicy piggies in it. So he trotted off to the house of sticks. When he got there, he peered in through the window and he could see Ronald making spaghetti at his kitchen window. He could also see poor Daphne shivering in a corner, very scared of the wolf. So he banged on the window. 
Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. Not by the hairs on our chinny chin chin. We won't let you in. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. So he huffed. <gasps> and he puffed. <gasps> and he blew down the house of sticks. So poor Daphne and Ronald scurried off to Hamish's house to see if they could live with him. The wolf was getting a little tired of all this huffing and puffing, but he thought the next house has three juicy little pigs all under one roof. So he galloped off to the house of bricks to eat all three piggies. When he got to the house of bricks, he peered in through the window and he could see all three piggies inside. Hamish was making fajitas and the other two were shivering in a corner, scared of the big bad wolf. Don't worry, said Hamish. I have built this house so strong that no wolf will ever be able to huff and puff it down. Just as he said that, there was a bang, bang at the window was the wolf. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. Not by the hairs on our chinny chin chin. We won't let you in. Oh, here we go again, said the wolf. Right, then, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, he said. So he took in a deep breath and he huffed. When he puffed, and nothing happened. So he huffed, and he puffed, until he was going quite red in the face, and still nothing happened. So he huffed and he puffed one more time. Oh, I can't huff and puff anymore. I need a new plan, he said. So he went off to find a new plan. Uh-oh, it's raining. Should we finish the story inside? Come on. Oh, it's a bit warmer in here. <laughs> so the wolf had gone off to find another plan. The three little pigs could hear him scurrying around on the roof. So they thought that his plan was to climb down the chimney. What are we going to do? Squeal the three little pigs. And Daphne had a very good idea. She thought that maybe if they built a huge fire at the bottom of the fireplace and boiled a pot of water on the fire, as soon as the wolf came down the chimney, he'd burn his bottom and run back up the chimney again. So they set about making a fire. When the fire was ready, Daphne put a big pot of water on the fire and they waited for it to boil. <coughs> Meanwhile, the wolf had found the chimney and he dived down it thinking, I'm going to eat three juicy little pigs for my tea. Little did he know what was at the bottom of the chimney. <coughs> The water was boiling merrily and the fire was very hot. As soon as the wolf's tail touched the pot of boiling water, he let out an ow! And he shot back up the chimney. He ran down the roof, jumped off the side and shot back into the forest. He was never seen again. The three little pigs, however, were absolutely delighted that they could live in their house without the wolf bothering them. They jumped for joy and danced around, playing games and squealing with joy. Hamish was a little bit smug because he had spent the time to build the house and sometimes spending time on something 
really pays off. The end. I hope you enjoyed my story. I love telling it to you. If you'd like to make your own Three Little Pigs and Big Bad Wolf, of course, then you can click on the Three Little Pigs Make, which is also on my channel. You can either use materials in your own home or you can click on the link in the description box and it will show you where you can buy your own kit. I'll upload some more videos soon, but don't forget in the meantime to like this video and also subscribe to my channel. I'll see you soon.